Hi Cancer, welcome to your month of October reading. Artemis is coming out so strongly in your reading. I want you guys to look up Artemis. I want you to see if you can get at least a book about her or any information on her. I had another reading that had interesting information connect to a goddess and your reading is kind of similar to that except for you have Artemis. Who so I looked up a little bit so I could tell you a little bit about her. I looked up a little bit so I could tell you a little bit about her. <laughs> so I found out that Artemis is considered the virgin huntress. They say that she hunted animals and yet she protected them. So I'm not sure if that meant that she actually hunted them just to protect them. That she watched them or did she actually like, you know, hunt them down, you know. But um, she's connected to the moon and she's connected to wild animals. Okay, and virgins and young animals as well. I want to mention that I, when I was looking up Artemis, I believe NASA has an Artemis program. Something about going to the moon. So you want to read up about that. I also read, sorry about the helicopter going, um, going by. But I also read that she's also sometimes depicted uh, in art. In, in art with a dog, with a hunting dog or... I can't remember what the other companion was, but I thought this was interesting. You have Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. I just thought that was interesting. I had already pulled your cards and when I looked her up, I was like, OMG, that's deep, okay? So I will watch over you. I thought it was this wolf, this German Shepherd, this dog watching over her but now I'm wondering if it's vice versa or maybe both. She's watching over this wolf and the wolf is watching over her. And then you have the full moon. So I'm gonna leave that for you guys to see it. So that can be out. But this is where it gets deeper. Artemis herself showed up. This is what made me look up Artemis. This is best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me to see what must be shown. 18, right? Look at that. Then we have mugwort dreams, rhythm, higher self, reality, and rest, right? You have the veil, the future. I saw these two cards and they told me that they were connected. Okay, look at all that here, look at the eyes. Notice how she's blindfolded in one, right? The veil, the future. And then she only has one eye showing in the mugwort dreams. Higher self, reality, rest, right? I also wanna show you this informing you see how there's one eye that's like lit up then you have the owl and the owl is all about why seeing you have the crescent moon you have the crescent moon here you have the crescent moon on top of artemis you have the crescent moon here with the voyage card and she has her map out and it says you already have all the answers and look she has a feather earring and there's feather in her hair and there's this mermaid in the background. You also have tumbleweed and it has native spirit. I felt the need to show you that one. We have awakening in bulk. And look, look what's all the way in the background. Mm -hmm. Then you have sprout, learning something new. Sprouting, something blossoming, right? So I saw all of this. And automatically I said, you know what? I need to know more about this card because this started to stand out for me. I looked it up and this is what it says. Mugwort dreams. If an alarm clock is a dream's worst enemy, the mugwort is a dream's best friend. It is a member of the Artemista, or, I'm sorry, Artemisia genius. Why did I say Artemista? Artemisia genius and was named in honor of the Greek lunar deity Artemis mic drop right mugwort unearths what's hidden within you and drags it kicking and screaming if necessary to the surface no other plant has more powerful associations with magic in general and dreams in particular than the sacred mugwort herb i just thought it was so powerful that it was connected to whom artemis and you have artemis sitting right next to it so artemis is the goddess of this reading 
this is who decided to come out for you guys cancer you guys also have heavy mermaid energy here you fish mermaids and artemis so their one connection would be the moon femininity emotions watery energy i i'm just kind of blown away and i was trying to decide whether i wanted to read the rest to you but i'm kind of feeling called to do so so i hope you guys don't mind it says dreams allow us to receive and transmit magical communiques Although we may not remember them upon awakening, nor do we always understand them, sleep in the dream states are where healing and rhythmic readjustments most frequently occur. The dream state refuses to be stifled and bound by the rigid, literal confines we have imposed upon the rest of our existence. Dreams transcend language, although dreams also delight in word games. The threshold between concrete and psychic reality, dreams are where spirits most willingly reveal themselves. In the dream world is where you are most likely to receive communiques from the earth mother and the ancestors as well as spirits deities and higher self and shadow parts of your being some believe the true purpose of sleep is to provide access to the dream state our souls need these opportunities to visit other realms and other powers to replenish our own forces and solve personal mysteries hmm it has been said since ancient times that we only recall the dreams we need to remember. Messages are never always black or white or plain and simple. Like the elusive elemental force of air, sometimes messages are oh, sorry, enigmatic riddles or pictorial charades dancing through life an operatic no novella of the mind. Sometimes two messages need time to unfold for the mind to truly embrace the lesson within the grand design okay sometimes two messages need time to unfold for the mind to truly embrace the lesson within the grand design note mugwort should never be used by or near children or pregnant women or those actively trying to become pregnant okay you guys there's so much to this it says what clues are you seeing from the dictionary of your dreams do you remember your magical nature you are in the eye of the storm and messages are appearing before you now, urging you to see their truth. Pay attention to the surroundings of your awakening life. Oh, you are in the eye of the storm. Kind of interesting because she's on this boat in the middle of water. Pay attention to the surroundings of your waking life as you would within your dream. What are you resisting? Remember your true spiritual form. A being created in the divine grace is more than the mundane world. See strangers as messengers. What do they have to teach you about yourself? Hmm. As you shuffle back and forth between your sacrifices and your life's desires, the dream and waking worlds begin to bleed over. Your subconscious is presenting clues to your next step. You may be willing to put up with difficult situations and others tend to avoid, but you have the ability to see beyond the norm and find a way out through the fog. Okay. Wow. So <laughs> there's just so much there. So it all has to do with Artemis. All has to do with Artemis, the Huntress. There's something that you guys are needing to hunt down. Keeping your purity, maintaining your that pure heart, right? Pure intentions, pure heart. But yet, being this warrior, it's a good balance, right? If you think about it, she was a, a virgin huntress. So she was this pure, kind of virginal, innocent kind of goddess. And yet, she wasn't sometimes people mistake pure virginal for night for, for someone being naive you know someone not knowing any better and that was untrue she was this huntress she was very powerful and she could be quite dangerous too if she wanted to be so it's this alluring i'm getting this alluring energy there's also something coming through about tears crying and emotions in october you guys might find yourself quite emotional and they're saying, allow your emotions to, to flow. Allow, if you need to cry, cry. If you need to laugh or scream or jump, do whatever you need to do. Jump up and down, be a kid, jump on a bed. I don't know why they're showing me that. They're saying, go run free. Go run free, go be free. If you guys can spend time in greenery, I would highly suggest you to do that. Of course, do so safely. If you guys can spend time in water safely, spend, but really in greenery where there's like a lot of trees and flowers, like a forest or the woods. If you can go somewhere like that with someone trustworthy or trustworthy group of people, I, that would be nice. Doing something to help animals. 
that would be nice for you guys to do as well you guys can have a strong connection to animals in the month of october it's just her energy is kind of taking over it's almost like they don't want me to go to anything else because she's just her energy is so strongly taking over and the mermaid it's like artemis artemis and the mermaid and for me when a mermaid shows up in a reading like this and it's not a specific deity that would be considered a mermaid coming through this is telling me that you need to dive deep into your to the waters the waters would be you dive deep into your emotions which would have to do with this dream state maybe that's what you're diving deep into right because think about it she's diving deep into other realms and that could be exactly what you're doing diving deep into different parts of yourself emotions thoughts right different situations that you have hidden you're diving deep into and it says you already have all the answers so your higher self is giving you knowledge your higher self is showing you what needs to be shown the veil is being lifted right you're seeing into the future they're showing you things so some of you guys are having prophecies you're being you're receiving prophetic messages through your dream state and your visions the more you rest and i'm hearing actually resting because sometimes we go to sleep and we're still tired the more you guys create i'm hearing create a safe comfortable environment for sleep really so that would be like okay let me get rid of all technology from my room maybe have a diffuser with you know lavender and chamomile you know maybe work with mugwort in whichever way you is safe to do so you want to look up mugwort and how you can use it you know anything like that making your environment comfortable having comfortable pajamas you know all of that just feeling comfortable there's a need to let your hair down and be free this is freedom this is about freedom freedom is so big in your reading cancer emotional freedom mental freedom physical freedom just being free to do what you want running wild and free but they want you to create that sacred space for rest and if you say oh man you know i slept almost the whole day and i still feel tired and sleep again make sure you're hydrated drinking a lot of water make sure that you're taking good care of yourself and you're eating but there's a lot with sleeping and rest for you guys seeing into other dimensions seeing different things before they play out you even have the owl here which is all about wise seeing and wise knowing wisdom right so the owl let's see what the owl means for you i want to show you guys this one the owl represents wisdom mortality changeability and the crescent moon represents mysteries darkness and grief wisdom cleverness power and adaptability being adaptable being free cleverness wisdom i would consider artemis to be quite clever and quite wise i will watch over you this is giving the same energy as the owl i will watch over you so you guys are coming into this strong awakening springtime could be very big for you guys spring next year spring when the flowers are blooming and growing something big is going to happen for you then there's a need for you guys to really feel these emotions a lot of the things you've been hiding underneath the surface what's swimming underneath the water it's like all of this hidden stuff underneath the water and you even have the mermaid of immersion complete commitment 44 master number right and you have the mermaid here And once again, complete commitment. They're saying be, be committed to knowing the truth. Best possible decision. Be committed to receiving the best possible dis options. I'm hearing best possible ways of handling things. So what they're saying is that be committed to knowing the truth. Whatever you set your intention on, whatever you're focusing on, whatever you pray about, give it to the divine. Set that intention. Even if you need to write it down and put it under a candle, or write it down, put it under your pillow, something's going to be shown to you. So help me to see what must be known. You already, you already have the answers. That's what they're saying. They're helping you to see beneath the veil. Your higher self is specifically helping you to have wisdom. They're giving you wisdom. And the sprout card 
says learning something new. Informing. Informative. So something is coming towards you. There's this knowledge, this wisdom that they're giving to you. They're going to help you to see what needs to be known. They're going to help you to make the right decision. They're saying you already have the answers. It's all within you. And even here you have Kitsune, I will show you whom to trust. I will watch over you. Stay committed. Focus on healing. We have endless grief, obsessive grief, replaying the past, negative nostalgia. They need you to do some clearing because we have sage purification. And we also have salt, which is also about cleansing, purification, and protection. So there's a need to work with sea salt. You guys really want to work with the water element and the earth. Earth and water are your elements. They're saying air too, but I'm strongly getting earth and water. But Artemis, she's a, she's a huntress, so she's always, she usually has a bow and arrow, archery. If you guys start seeing different things with archery coming through, that could be a symbol, a little sign for you, a hint. Anything with wild animals. They're saying you guys need to work with herbs, burn herbs, maybe even resin. So, Hmm. I don't know why they said that. Because that's not what I was going to say. But you guys need to work with herbs. Burn herbs to cleanse. Okay? Cleanse your space. Sea salt in your home, around your home, around your space. For some of you, even around your car. That's strange. Keep protective stones in your car and in your home. They're, this is also the power they want you to make um, work with the little bags, like the little sachets. Let's see. You also have fish here. I want to show you your fish card. You have fish and you have anchor, which I thought was interesting. The fish and anchor. Don't those go well with the voyage card, right? And your mermaid card. So the fish says artistic reverie, innocence. Innocence, that goes right along with Artemis. Flow, subconscious, that goes right along with the mugwort dreams. So renewal, creativity, knowledge, subconscious, submersion, immersion. So it's like you're going in water, flow, emotion, yep. Innocence, tapping in. It could even be that you see something in your dream state and you, you're able to create it or bring it to life. They're showing you something. Okay, let's see what else. What do we have here? We have the anchor. Stability, settling in one place, feeling weight down, body of water. Feeling weight down by emotions, possibly by grief. Needing to heal anything that anything that's made you sad. So there's a need to feel your emotions so that they're not keeping you stuck or trapped. Letting them flow. There's a need of flow. You guys need to go with the ebb and flow of life. You guys need to flow. Go with the flow. I'm hearing go with the tide. Don't fight against the tide. There's a lot like with the brain wave. They're saying brain waves. You guys might end up doing research. I know this is going to sound strange. It's crazy how my phone keeps rocking. They're saying that you guys might do research on um, diff the different sleep realms. Like, um, oh my God, I'm blanking right now. Uh, is it theta waves? I forgot. But anyways, you guys, you guys are learning about brain waves. Sleep. Sleeping. It's something about the realms in sleep. Something about the brain. I just heard neurological studies. Because they keep showing me the crown chakra. And some of you might even start having headaches because there's so much going on. You're, it's like you're sensitive to energy. So you guys might want to sleep with a, um, a scarf over your head is what I'm hearing. Or you might wear one when you're out and about because you might pick up on a lot of energy. 
something with your hair. There's something about the hair holding power. You know, they say that the hair can be the antenna or antennas sometimes. So there's something about your hair. Taking care of your scalp, your hair. Something with growth. I know this is going to sound strange, but in October, some of you guys might notice that your hair is growing super long. I know that's strange. Like, there's something about your hair in October. I don't know if you guys are changing hair, but I'm getting like more growth, like something just growing wild and free, kind of natural. Your crown chakra. You're showing me a symbol with someone with a crescent moon on their forehead. I don't know what that means, a crescent moon on the forehead. You guys are connected to the moon cycles. You guys might, if you're, um, if you're in a female body, it might be some type of um, connection with your, your menstrual cycle with the moon. Yeah. There's a lot of knowledge comes to you. You're connected to moon cycles. You're connected to Artemis. You're connected to this mermaid energy, which is all about diving into unknown territories. We have this subconscious mind. We have this different realms. Clearing your space. We even have um, clearance here with the broomstick. Another zodiac sign had the broomstick for clearance. So there's a need to actually clear your home, protect your home. Remember I said making a comfortable place for you to rest because there's something about you receiving downloads in your sleep, basically. Wild animals could be giving you signs. Animals that are more, um, I'm hearing wild and free. Animal guides, animal totems. Native spirits are coming through. So you guys could be connecting to your ancestry. And especially if you have indigenous ancestry. You might want to look up what the wolf represents. Look up what animals are connected to Artemis. You just want to do more research on her. But you guys also want to look up um, the wolf and native tribes. Crescent moon in native tribes, mugwort, what it has to do with native tribes, as well as Artemis. Let's see what else you guys need to know. I wish I had my goddess deck because I feel like she would come out again. Nine of wands, pumpkin head. This is about being resilient. It usually shows someone holding on to this wand. I feel like that's Artemis energy, like protecting. Like she had to protect herself because a lot of men thought she were, a lot of gods and men thought she were, she was, go, um, I'm sorry, she was gorgeous and she was, trying to protect herself. I don't know why I got tongue tight there. Sorry, guys. So a lot of gods and men, gods and men thought she were she was gorgeous. And they thought they could take advantage of her. I don't know why I kept saying war, 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 war. What are they trying to say there? Because they did it twice. Was she war or where? I don't know what that's about. Maybe you guys need to look up any paintings maybe were with them depicting her what she may have worn we know that she had the the bow and arrow look the empress kali kali ma here mm, kali ma she's a she's a destroyer she can destroy fears anything any obstacles in your way this resilience this defender this protector this warrior there's a warrior side there's there's this dangerous side of artemis as well that you guys need to learn about they tried to take advantage of her and she knew how to protect herself. Anybody who tried to take advantage of her would end up in trouble, basically. <laughs> so let's see. It's symbolic of them letting you know, your angels and ancestors letting you know, your guides letting you know that you're protected. Two of Pentacles, the elf. Look, bow and arrow. You can't make that up. You're protected. As you're juggling, as you're balancing and doing other things, they're protecting you. So they're protecting you from things that you can't even see. And that's what they're letting you know. There's a veil. They're showing you we're, the things that you're focused on, we've already seen. They're taking care of the things that you haven't seen yet. And they're going to give you insight on some things that you haven't seen yet. They said, before you see it, we've already seen it. 
That map you're holding holding in your hand, yeah, we've already read it. <laughs> we've already seen all of that. Look, you have cauldron, synergy and healing. They're helping to heal you, to bring more balance to the situation. Look, we have dawn. The light after the darkness. Look at that owl. You have the owl here twice. The light after the darkness. Why seeing? Seeing things clearly, right? Seeing beyond the veil. The unending sadness of looking back, you're done with that. The light after the darkness. You've come out of dark waters, murky waters. You're rising. You're letting go burdens. You guys want to work. Look, the sun, the phoenix arises from the ashes. A lot of people have had the sun come out lately. You guys want to work with the moon cycles. You guys want to spend more time out in nature in the light, in the sun. Specifically when the sun is rising. And then we also have dawn. So we have the full moon, we have dawn. So just pay attention to the different cycles, what you feel called to, what you feel drawn to. Because it could be different for everyone. Yeah. For some of you, it's when the sun is rising. For some of you, it's when the sun is going down. Okay, what else? They're saying take time for yourself. Sometimes you aren't truly stuck. It's just a time for you to rest. There's a lot of rest here. They're saying they want me to look up this card. You have this at the bottom of the deck. You have crown. You also have lilies. Okay, let's see what crown is. Sorry, guys. This book that they have for this deck is so unorganized. We have crown, royalty, showing off your status, the winner, righteousness, business success, the big payoff. So royalty and showing off your status, winner, righteousness, business success, the big payoff. I feel like this is royalty. I would consider Artemis to be royal. Something very powerful. Standing in your power, but once again, the crown shock or the hair, right? Covering your crown. Authority. What does lilies represent? Mercy, chastity. Whoa, that's her. That's Artemis. A renewal type of funeral flower. A moment of peace. So you guys might want to bring a moment of peace. This looks very peaceful. So you guys want to work with the color white. The color white. Lilies. Specifically lilies. But I was going to say tulips, orchids, but I'm getting lilies. You guys want to work with the color light blue. Kind of like an aquamarine. Pale blues, like baby blues. That's coming up in all of these cards. You want to see what that means. Or this is, what, what, what kind of blue is this called? I forgot. I forgot. I forgot what that's called. Like a periwinkle blue. I think that's what it is. Whites and blues. yeah new energy there's something about perfume i'm hearing turning turning your your fears into lemonade everything you've gone through everything you've gone through the pain turning it into something good yeah i'm here you need to let fresh air in your space you need to spend time getting fresh air there's just something that you need to end out to have something better. It's as simple as that. Letting go of things that have hurt you. Sometimes it's the memories of things. We still need to feel them. You got to feel in order to heal and then release it. Let go of it. Don't go over different things over and over that don't serve you is what I'm hearing. So that could be a specific message for someone out there. Let's see, where is this message at? So perfume, a fond memory, sweetness, a comforting presence, attracting a mate, demure. Hmm. A fond memory and sweetness. That's what that, that's making me think of. You guys want to work with aromatherapy and essential oils is what I'm hearing. Yeah. They're saying you can always start over. You can always rewrite your story. You can always do things your own way. 
They're saying just be free. You're free to live your life as you want. As you want. That's what they're saying. They're saying you're strong enough. You're, you'll see through people. You'll, you'll know who to spend time with and who not to spend time with. That's what they're saying. I'm hearing your judgment will be strengthening. I know that sounds strange, but it's like you're discerning your intuition. It will be strengthening when it comes to the people who are around you. But they want you to embrace innocence. So when you think about that, maybe you need to watch movies that, that you liked when you were a kid. Things that make you feel safe. Bring in white lilies, white roses, white flowers. Surround your space with white flowers. Maybe even like white bedding, white pajamas. They're saying you need to keep a dream journal. I didn't pull from this deck from any for any other zodiac sign, but I felt called to do this for you guys. So dream journal. Are you sleeping? Look at that. Are you sleeping? Hm. They're asking you to sleep. Look, she has sage. Clear your energy field. Boom. Clear your energy field. Sage. You guys need to sage your space. Cleanse your space. What else? We have spend time with friends. Trustworthy friends. Look at the moon cycles. It looks very innocent, right? Like a sleepover. They're also saying you need to make a meal. Yeah, eat more from the earth is what I'm hearing. Movement, yoga might help you. Following your intuition, sleep, rest. And look, I didn't even notice this. Spend time with animals. Look at that. She has that, the dog. Look at that. She has the owl. Come on. The owl and the dog. Was that all? And use your hands. So you guys need to get creative. Do something that's going to put you in a zen-like state. I'm hearing more messages are just going to come through when you're doing like festivities that make you feel more lighthearted. Um, how do I, why did I say festivities? They're saying, you know how some people um, knit or some people crochet, some people draw, some people paint, and it puts them in a meditative state. And I'm getting you guys need to do more relaxed things like that because it's going to help you to receive these downloads. So you need to rest. You need to do things that are more kind of lighthearted, lightweight, not too intense. They're saying stay away from a lot of intensity. Do it in moderation if you're going to do it. But they're saying they're, they're wanting you to go with the flow, kind of be in this, this relaxation, this peaceful state in October, okay? So that's what I have for you, Cancer. Things are going to be looking up. You have a lot of knowledge coming through. It's beautiful. So Artemis is your goddess to look up. Have a good one.